Welcome, it's the fourth Sunday of Lent, and when you are at a Mass where they're gonna have those who are presented for baptism at Easter, you're gonna hear the Gospel of the man born blind, but if you're at any other Mass, you're gonna hear the Gospel of the prodigal son, which we had during the weekdays um, not too long ago. But I wanna to return to the prodigal son. We already heard in, my, in the last time I went and talked about it, about the son and the mercy of the father given to the son. But what about the other brother? Remember that the brother that's at home with the father is faithful, he's loyal, and he's like what the father wants out of his son. And when the other son comes home, who's wasted his father's inheritance, that brother gets upset and angry. He sees the feast happening, he says, what is this? And he gets angry at his dad. He's like, this guy wasted all of your inheritance and you throw a party, right? And what's happening there? Well, one, he feels a little unjust. He feels like he hasn't been given what should be his. And the father reminds him, son, everything I have is yours. Think of, you're here all the time with me, but this one was lost and has been found. You know, in life, sometimes there's something that happens when we get upset when somebody else is doing well. We kind of look at that as envy. You know, when we see other people's success and it angers us, or other people receiving blessings and it seems like we get upset at that. Well, we have to check ourselves and recognize um, am, I, am I really living for God according to His will in my life? Or do I want to be better than others? Or do I want more privileges than others? It's a long-standing human trait to want to be a little bit better, to be, want to be a little bit richer, to want to be a little bit better. And even if we're not aware of it, it can creep into us. And so God asks us to kind of be purged this Lent of, of that envious temptation. We say that even the devil was envious of humans because they got to enjoy the life of being embodied, of having a physical body. And so that envy always finds its root in the enemy. Ask God to give you the grace to rejoice when others rejoice and to suffer when others suffer, but not to suffer when others rejoice. Hola, en el Evangelio, hoy vamos a escuchar, escuchar otra vez sobre el hijo pródigo. Y hemos escuchado esta parábola Hace poco en los misas diario, pero ya domingo otra vez tenemos la historia de hijo pródiga. Pero esta vez quiero hablar no sobre, sobre el hermano que volvió arrepentido, sino el hermano que vive con su papá y trabaja con su papá y es resentido que su papá es feliz y alegre y haciendo una fiesta por este hermano que era malcriado y que comportaba mal. En, en eso es lo que nombramos envidia, uno de los pecados capitales. Cuando sentimos resentidos por el éxito de, de nuestros prójimos o cuando otros reciben bendiciones, estamos como resentidos o estamos como eh, eh, llenos de rabia o enojo hacia ellos por las bendiciones en su vida. En eso es un, un, un vicio que pedimos que Dios puede purificarnos porque porque Dios quiere que amamos a Él por su voluntad en nuestra vida, no por ser el mejor, o lo más rico, o lo más exitoso, o la persona con más en este mundo. Él quiere que cumplimos su voluntad. Y si su voluntad por otra persona es otro, bendita sea Dios. Nuestra preocupación debe ser no en los éxitos de otros, pero sino si yo estoy cumpliendo lo que Dios está pidiendo a mí. Y debemos sentir contento lo, lo, con, con, con lo que tenemos y no deseando lo que otros tienen porque a ra raíz de eso es lo mismo envidia que Satanás tenía de los seres humanos en Eden y Eva en él odiaba la raza humana porque ellos tenían un cuerpo y pueden disfrutar la creación mientras él no pudiera porque no tiene cuerpo Señor, ayúdanos a eliminar envidia en nuestra vida esta cuaresma Amén <música>